Welcome back, horror family. Resident Evil Village is a fantastic adventure, a welcoming reinvention of the franchise that held true to aspects from each of its predecessors. The enriched atmosphere drawn from the Universal Monster films brings a fresh take, making werewolves, vampires, and swamp creatures the new zombies, mutants, and giant lake salamanders. We are briefly reintroduced into the lives of our previous main characters, Ethan and Mia, who now live in an unnamed European city with their newborn, Rosemary. Everything is great until Chris Renfield arrives, who shoots Mia in the head and takes Ethan and Rose with him. After the kidnapping caravan is attacked and crashes, Ethan is left stranded on a snowy road with his daughter nowhere in sight. He finds himself in a European village shortly thereafter, isolated from the rest of the world. The entire town is overrun with bloodthirsty werewolves, each section of the entire village overseen by a house, with a godlike queen as the group's figurehead, a woman they call Mother Miranda. These religious zealots are experiments by Miranda to resurrect her long dead daughter, using a fungus type of growth that has been hidden under the area since the beginning of time. I can do many videos on the various monsters found in the cursed land, such as the insect blood sucking sisters, a manifested mutated fetus, or a fish beast straight out of a Japanese horror film. The most interesting creature I feel was kept in a shade of obscurity is the fungus itself that not only changed the population of the township, but created the antagonist from Resident Evil 7, which in my opinion is the best in the series. The Megamycete was seen by Redfield in a large cavern as a glowing pink embryo, pulsing out swaths of fungal blankets. It idly stayed under the ground as the monsters above it utilized the power transferred by the root, as well as the Kadu parasites Mother Miranda harvested from the mass in order to gain power and cheat death. But what could this fungal root be? It simply could have been a colony of mold that gained sentience over the millennia, watching the spread of mankind, seeing their appearance as a viral infection that needed to be eradicated, releasing its power to infect the destructive species, its chemical properties releasing man's innermost evil, or maybe there is a more sinister, darker entity at work. Physis is the primordial Greek god of origin. She was said to oversee the order of nature. The Orphix, an aesthetic religious sect, followed wine in the enthusiasm of intoxication as a union with the gods. They believed that the prodigy of Sphysis to be the firstborn. The ancient being would later evolve into Phthysis with the arrival of the Greco-Roman mythology, a daemon of rot, decay, and putridification. One of the Nose or Pestis, ancient orders of nature's weaponry, sought to protect the planet through its toxic bacterium to break down the festering from the world and replace it with fresh mold and living colonies of organisms. The primordial being risen from the waters of life to create, over time found only a world that takes. Deciding that it would feed the world their own decaying waste, masking it as the key to everlasting life. In reality, the Megamycete was utilizing its kadu and the ever-growing lust for life and power that the human species has demonstrated at worships to sicken those that pull from it. A demiurge that gives and takes life in never-ending cycle of growth and decay, allowing the inner faculties of each host that it comes in contact with to develop either special powers based on their personality or their environment. This is why we saw the flowers at the Beneviento house holding such intense psychoactive properties. The soil saturated with the Megamycete and its fungal deity powers was absorbed and changed by the little yellow flower. Its pollen became the tool used by the doll maker and her crooked doll to entrap Ethan in a cellar with a bloody giant embryo looking for its dad. Wherever the Megamycete is and from where it came, I am sure that we will further see the effects of its Kado and the mutated properties within its oozing core. Just because Mother Miranda and her Frankenstein crusade to resurrect the dead failed does not mean there will not be another unscrupulous human with a selfish desire to use the fungus for the malevolent purpose. What did you think the Mega My Seat was? Did you play Resident Evil Village? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, my book Ivory Blood is on sale on Amazon, Kindle Edition is out now, and the softcover pre-orders will be released August 25th. For those of you that have it, please when you are finished leave a comment and star rating. Thank you my horror family, and as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay scared.